Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Friday afternoon, early, it's only like 12.45, and I'm on my way to the gun range. So I got another gun the other day, and I brought it home and cleaned it Wednesday night, and now I'm heading to the range to test it. And that's pretty much all I have planned for today, simply because of the fact that it has been pissing rain since last night. Like, hardcore, just torrential downpour, nonstop. So right now, it's, I think it's pretty much stopped. It was supposed to stop, start leveling off, and then about two, it, was, it went from 100% down to like 2% uh, chance of rain, that is. So, I mean, it has just been pouring, and I wasn't going to go out in that. I mean, I'm all for, you know, trying to go out and shoot in the rain, like I said maybe I would do, but not in a torrential downpour. Uh-uh. Monkey don't like to play in the rain. I do have a package being delivered today that I'm excited about because I didn't know when I was going to get it and then when they sent me tracking it showed Saturday and then all of a sudden you know about an hour ago I got an email saying hey your your uh, Mantis Pod is out for delivery so I did buy the Mantis Pod 2.0 and I got it without the head because you know how that head drove me crazy because it always you know, like it's very easy to flip that one lever and make it flop and I have those F38 those fall cam F38 ball heads and stuff so I have one that is free now because I took it off of another device and I am going to be putting that on the Mantis pod now you all know if you've been following me that I have the original Mantis pod hands down the best device I've ever used as far as like you know, vlogging and carrying my cameras around. The one problem being that freaking ball head that came with it, because I got the pro version that came with that ball head, was that it was incredibly easy to flip that lever and then it just flops over. And then, you know, trying to get it realigned and get it back on there is such a pain in the ass. Now, I've been using this Suray, uh, like mini carbon fiber tripod and it's great and all but it is still pretty big and and kind of cumbersome at times i will continue to use this though because i do like it especially because i also got a i think it was a small rig clamp that has a v-mount clip to it and i'm starting to to buy some some mini v-mount batteries to install on there in fact i, I picked one up and, and got one the other day but uh, you know like I've got a bunch on my wish list and and you know they're so small that I wanted to have m m f a bunch of them anyways just so that I always had one charged up so that's pretty much all I've got planned for today other than eating non-stop so all right let's go to the range test this new gun out and then the world's our oyster hopefully by then it will really have stopped raining and I don't have to deal with this yay Okay, kids, that was awesome. I haven't shot in a while. You know, since I got a new gun, I upped my range membership because I need to go more often. It's amazing. Total keeper. This is why I've got that kind of shit. This is why I buy really good guns, and this is why I take care of them and shoot them as much as I can so that I am as efficient as possible, meaning accurate, meaning if I'm going to shoot something I'm going to hit that and only that. I'm going to go get afternoon bean and go home and snarf like my third Thanksgiving meal in like less than a day. Bean has been gotten. And it's delicious. Now I'm going to go to UPS and get my freaking mantis pod and then go home and clean my gun and play with my mantis pod. And but before I do all that shit, I'm going to snarf another Thanksgiving dinner worth of leftovers because I'm freaking hungry. Let's go play. Okay, kids, what a day. Been all over the place doing all kinds of stuff. Couple of things that I wanna talk about. One, obviously I said I went to the gun range to test out a new gun I bought. That'd be this. This is the Sig Sauer P320 X5 Legion. It's a nine millimeter gun, full size, obviously. It's a, all kinds of special shit. I'm not going to get into it. This isn't a gun channel. Needless to say, this thing is amazing. And I knew it would be. I'm not disappointed. Here's what I shot out of the first magazine. As you can see, dead on. Everything else I shot after that, because I try all kinds of different things when I shoot. You know, the, the standard, you know, two hands holding, pointed forward, nice, slow. That's what I got off that first 21 rounds. Then I shoot one-handed with my strong hand, and then I shoot one-handed with my other strong hand. And then I just shoot around just trying to get different things at a little bit quicker of a pace. I go through 
range ammo and I go through self-defense ammo just to make sure that the gun can handle all of that. So, but I can't carry it yet because I don't have a proper holster for it, like I said. So that's what the gun shows for tomorrow. Can't complain, happy with it. Next thing, I got my PGY Tech Mantis Pod 2.0 and I actually, like in this little spot here where the, the little, uh, like the Mantis hook comes in, I actually put from the old one, the cell phone adapter so that I can put a cell phone up if I need to, which I almost never do, probably never will, but at least it's in there. Now, as you can see, I put on my fall cam F38 quick release ball head. And that was the whole point of getting this damn thing because they finally made this so that it just has a quarter 20 sticking up so that you can put on whatever ball head you want. This thing, first of all, it's really tight, giggity, and it is amazing. I loved the first version of it, except for the fact that you couldn't put any other ball head on it. And I complained about it and they fixed it. So yay for you, PGY Tech, because this thing now is what I would use the entire time. After tearing apart my entire office studio, every magic drawer, every drawer, every cupboard, every nook, every cranny, going through the entire house, even went through the Forerunner, and I could not find this knife. Then, just for shits and giggles, I got down on the floor, I started looking to see if it had fallen in the closet where I keep everything, because that's where I actually keep my actual dresser with clothing and shit, and then I have stuff stacked on it, blah, 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 blah. And I started going through everything, and then I thought, okay, open a drawer. I mean, there's clothes in them all, but maybe you put it in there. Open up the third drawer, there's the damn knife, and three holsters that I had put in there. I guess I just wanted them out of the way off the surface, and I put them in there, and I completely forgot about it. So we'll chalk that up to about two hours of searching for this stupid thing, and I finally find it in the drawer. So that's it. That's my Kubi knife that I purchased a long time ago. Put it away so well, couldn't find it for two days. That's out of the way. So it was a productive day. I was happy to get the Manus Pod a day early. I was happy to find the knife. I'm happy that the gun I bought shoots so well. And uh, yeah, all is well. It's now a little bit after six. I think that's all you're gonna get for today because I just feel like going down choding on the couch. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.